First of all, who is that in your arms? This is Henry. Henry, you gotta say hi. Let's say hi to Drew. And how old is Henry? Henry is almost 12 years old. Henry is so cute. So my dog, <laughs> Douglas, here, he's almost 12. And then my okay. dog, Lucy, here, is going to be seven. And so when Douglas had Lucy walk into his life, it was like Claudia Schiffer walking into his life. Right. So he's, yeah. he's, he's a happy guy. And this is Jeremy, um, who's a girl, but she's a bearded dragon. Anyway. It's not always tough. To, it's, it's not always easy to tell with those guys. But I love that you're a reptile fan. The reptiles are what kind of initially got my heart with animals at a very young age. And I'm, I just love working with them. And I love them. Well, when I saw the cover of your book, that cover is so eye-catching. It is so bold. I mean, it is a bam. <laughs> it is sexy. It's like, wow. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> you're making me blush over here. Um, will you please tell us about the book? It's me in my early adulthood life, I guess, where I am a wildlife enthusiast, and I am so keen to just get out into the wild, in, into the natural habitats where my favorite species are native to around the world. And that's places like Australia and Africa and Southeast Asia, Central America. And basically, it's an evolution of that kind of work and travel into becoming a veterinarian and being a vet and getting to do real veterinary work and real conservation work and work with amazing conservationists and vets and wildlife rescues around the world and getting to share my story and the crazy travels and there's happy moments and exciting moments and scary moments and sad moments and funny moments and everything in between. When you were shooting the cover of your book, did you bring in like inspiration pictures? Was there like a nice Calvin Klein shot? Like you are giving it in this picture. It is, it is, <laughs> it is like World Wild Vet is like, oh my gosh. it's so striking. Yeah, no, I love that picture. And yeah, I just, I went online and I Googled just men holding giant lizards on their shoulders <laughs> and I found so many great pictures. And no, no, I'm kidding. It, uh, it, just, it just happened and the photographer is awesome. I loved working with him. And um, we had a lot of great shots from that day. And that lizard is, that was a very sweet uh, Asian water monitor lizard. And she was just cooperative and I just, I just, I don't know, I thought it'd be a fun idea, honestly. And I just, we were just kind of playing with it and it turned out to get, you know, we got some good shots. You know, my daughter, Olive, her nickname is Ace Ventura because she has that gift. Oh my gosh. She has the <laughs> gift with animals and she's obsessed with them and she wants to be a veterinarian. Do you have any advice for her? You know, I think my biggest advice would be just as much for you, and that's just to cultivate that. You know, get her books and shows and help her learn and take her on, you know, to the zoo, or good zoos and, and good trips and things like that to get her exposed and, and just really feed that interest of hers. Dr. Evan Anton, we have a question for you. Would it be okay? Quiana, you have a question for the wonderful Dr. Evan Anton. Yes, hi there. So, hi, again, how I'm you doing, Quiana. Quiana? This is, I'm good. This is Cupcake here. Um, and as you can see, she's super tiny, only about five pounds. And every time she goes for her checkup, she's that same weight. But she eats so much, like she's always hungry. Why is that? You know, that's a common thing in dogs. And, and Henry, to be honest, is the same way. I've got a little dog too. <laughs> and this him. guy will eat until I stop feeding him. So I have to be really careful with that. And it's really, our metabolism works very similar to that of dogs. And that it all comes down to, you know, how many calories are coming in and how many calories are being burned at the end of the day. And for dogs, if they're not as active and they're kind of couch potatoes, like Henry is very guilty of, and, and I'm guilty of, of, of basically facilitating that, um, you know, it's easy for them to gain weight. And many dogs have high appetites. And then neutering and spaying dogs, which I highly encourage for most dogs, is, uh, is something that can actually slow down the metabolism and it can increase the appetite. Both things are kind of a recipe for gaining weight. And so when you know all those things, the key to it is just make sure you're feeding the appropriate amount for your pet and you know, try to get them activity and exercise if they're healthy enough to do so. Well, I love what you do. I've followed you for a long time. And I think whether it's you on the cover of your book, you know, the person that you are that shines through, you help you know, keep humans interested in what's the responsible thing to do with animals and our planets. And I really thank you for everything that you do. Oh, that means so much. If that's your takeaway from this book, that's everything. That's, that makes me so happy to hear. Oh, and that's exactly what I would love for readers to get from it. So that, those words mean a lot, Drew. Thank you very much.